Hey everybody, this is Cheyenne with ColorGear.com with a free tutorial this time uh, for how to do dissolves in After Effects. So if you're using Final Cut or Premiere Pro and you're bringing in your footage via XML or AAF or uh, with Premiere, you're just saving the Premiere Pro, uh, Pro project and bringing it into After Effects and you're losing your dissolves, um, a quick way that you can fix that is uh, to keyframe the dissolves uh, yourself. So when you bring the footage in, what should usually happen is the layers will get uh, sort of stacked over the top of each other like this. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And you can see that this is you know, the layer that would be dissolving into this layer here. So it's very, very similar to the old way in which film was actually blended or actually dissolved from one clip into another clip. And so what we can do very quickly here is we can go to the beginning of this clip by hitting I, by selecting it, uh, and hitting I on the keyboard which will take us to the end point or the first frame select the top clip which is going to be dissolved hit T for opacity um, click the stopwatch here to enable keyframing which will actually set a keyframe there uh, with this clip still selected hit O for out which is the out point um, and then drop the opacity down to zero and you'll see that uh, we now have a nice dissolve from that clip into this clip and the really great thing about that is if, is if you're using color gear, uh, you know that a lot of times you're going to want to grade uh, this clip separately from this clip. Um, and you want to be able to grade many clips at a time. So what you're going to do is you're going to pre-comp. Well, the really great thing about this method of doing a dissolve uh, is if I select this clip and then if I hit Command Shift C or Control Shift C if you're on a PC uh, and uh, pre-comp that as a test, uh, you'll see that my dissolve is still there. So now, uh, even though it's in a different composition it is still dissolving from that layer into this layer which is really great and uh, makes things a lot easier but for those of you who aren't using color gear or don't know what color gear is uh, color gear is a system that I invented uh, for Adobe After Effects that allows you to uh, basically turn After Effects into uh, DaVinci um, so uh, uh, you know working in the industry as a, as, a, as a professional colorist one of the things that used to frustrate me was that uh, was that uh, node-based coloring, uh, even in in Final Cut's color uh, program, just really wasn't it really wasn't there for the masses. You kind of had to know what you were doing, and uh, or you had to spend you know either uh, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a system that would allow you to do professional grading at home uh, on your own footage. Uh, and for some of us, uh, the, the frustration is is that Resolve, uh, the free version, uh, doesn't seem to want to run on every system that's out there. It's kind of finicky. Uh, but After Effects will run on almost any system. And so Color Gear is designed uh, to basically turn uh, After Effects into a node-based or modular-based uh, color grading system. And what you get is a bunch of gears like these here. Uh, uh, here's the, the toolkit as it comes into After Effects. Uh, and then the tutorials. If you go to the website, uh, and plop down 50 bucks you get access to the website and all the tutorials here's some videos here on the main page that will kind of show you what color gear is capable of uh, and then of course you go to the tutorials and uh, in the tutorials you can see I spend a lot of time uh, here 13 minutes here almost 40 minutes uh, explaining you know dynamic range and masks and tracking and how to use automatic duck and working with sequences you know there's a ton of really helpful information that basically is sort of my way of imparting to uh, you, the end user, uh, a lot of that sort of tips and tricks and uh, workflows and uh, the ins and outs of, of, of grading footage that I've sort of picked up over the last eight or ten years working in the industry. And uh, even if you uh, if you just go to the website, colorgear.com, even if you don't buy the, the, the software and, and uh, it's sort of enlist in the, uh, the color gear sort of ranks as, uh, as someone learning the system and using the system, uh, there's still plenty of uh, useful things here that should help out your your workflow and uh, and help you sort of save some time or get more accurate uh, grades on whatever software you are using. So that's it. That's Color Gear. Um, uh, it's uh, it will work. Uh, you can get footage into After Effects from almost any nonlinear editor. You can get them in from Avid. You can get them from Final Cut Pro uh, Seven, Final Cut Pro X, Vegas. Uh, so it's pretty much universal. Um, there's definitely methods in which I talk about on the website for you to get your footage, uh, or get your edit, your EDL into After Effects, and then of course grade it using Color Gear and get uh, uh, the same outstanding results that uh, that the other Color Gear users have gotten and, and the kind of results that I get. And uh, you know, I think for the money, um, it's one of the best systems out there. I mean, you're going to spend a lot more money on, on Magic Bullet and Colorista, and you know, there's really not much that you can do in those programs programs that you can't do in Color Gear, but, uh, but there's a bunch that you can do in Color Gear that you really can't do 
uh, with those programs and you're not going to spend nearly as much money. Um, so that's just my feelings on it. That's how I feel. Uh, you can you can search the web and, and see what other people are saying about it. But uh, uh, that's pretty much Caligar in a nutshell. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And uh, in the future, uh, happy grading.